Good morning everyone and welcome to uh, Gloom Sheffield on a Sunday morning here. I've just did a bit of throwing for you and I'll show you uh, that bit of the film in, the, in, uh, in a moment. Uh, we've just um, had the Only Clay uh, brochures delivered for uh, the Only Clay event. Uh, if you want to see a copy of this, um, if you go to the website we have an online version of the brochure that's a flip page by page flip it was kindly produced this was kindly produced by my best friend uh, Jill Riley who was a very talented uh, potter and an exceptionally good graphic designer and she's done all of this all of her work so thank you Jill publicly amazing person right uh, like I said the only clay brochure is now available on the website if you go to the website you can look at it uh, it's onlyclay.co.uk uh, The show is coming up in the 6th and 7th of November If you're in the UK, please come along to it It's going to be an incredible event um, Lots of really good potters there Lots of trade stands And I have my own personal solo exhibition there And I've done some platters And I'll just get one to show you Right, I'm back <laughs> As planned as as well planned as usual this isn't it okay this is one of my platters the, the, the solo exhibition is called views of Mount Fuji I was lucky enough to go 2013 and visit Japan see Mount Fuji and it, it left a lasting effect on me and this is one of the large platters now there are about I've done 14 hopefully I'll have a dozen available uh, I fired the first six yesterday I've got two already made I did the first six yesterday there's another six going in in two or three days time but in the bottom of the kiln I have a cold spot so I'm just throwing some little egg cup plates I've done them before but they're really nice little kiln fillers and four mugs and uh, here's the video of that like I say please come to Only Clay it's the first time event we've been locked down for two years there's a lot of shows have gone by the wayside a lot of potters have been struggling so this has been my attempt to try and bring the industry back into um, some semblance of normality so uh, please get there if you can use a bit of throwing okay uh, what I'm doing today this morning uh, is make a few uh, kiln fillers for the bottom of my kiln there's a cold spot in the bottom of my kiln just dampening the bottom of this bat there's a pad of clay on here I don't have one of those wheels with pins in I don't use bats very often Um, yeah, I use a bat, a bat for these because they're plates and they're little sort of egg cup plates. They're a plate with an egg cup in the middle. I've made them before. If you've seen previous videos, you'll have seen it, but it comes around to this time of year. We, um, I tend to make them for a friend who sells them on her website, her Instagram, account, Instagram site. Can't get the words out this morning, can while I'm doing this, it take, gives me the opportunity to uh, tell you all or remind you all about the, the only clay ceramics fair that's taking place in the first weekend in November, in the 6th and 7th of November, at Kellam Island in Sheffield. There is a, um, a website if you want to have a look at it. I'll put it, put it in the comments down below. It's, uh, www.onlyclay.co.uk and uh, it's going to be a really good event. I'm just coming to the end of a, a year's planning, so it's all in place now. Just doing the final touches, got a final meeting this week with the museum to discuss the uh, parking and uh, unloading and loading operation, making sure I've got that sorted properly. Go. Put my volunteers in place, bless them. Couldn't do it without help, it's not a one man job. Right, so, this is the plate part of it. I'm going to use this rib here with a curved end so it doesn't dig in, just to flatten the base. Does two things. What it does is stop spiral cracks and it leaves it nice and smooth for 
cleanliness and putting in the dishwasher or whatever. Put the lip on the edge of the plate. And then in the centre, I've left a little mound of clay, a little lump of clay there. And this is going to be the egg cup. So we just throw an egg cup shape in the centre. in making them. There's 800 grams of clay and uh, the thrown size is about, well that's a 10 inch bat so it's about 8 inches diameter. Just get the inside of the cup nicely curved so the egg sits nicely in it. The good thing about this is I mean, you make them, I started making them for grandchildren. Um, when you've got a plate with an egg cup on it, they tend to be, uh, they knock them all over the place and they fall over, so this is a way of making it so the egg cup, the egg doesn't fall over, go all over the floor or whatever, so. And there's room at the outside for your little toast soldiers. These have two, uh, two small mice, I make the mice and I stick two small mice on the tails and they're a sort of a, a blue colour and a grey plate, so they're quite sweet. People like them. I'll put a link to where you can get them um, in the comments. And that's it. That's the last one of this batch for this firing. Uh, and uh, now to make some mugs. Right, I've just uh, finished the plates that I've just shown you. Uh, these, these are some smaller vats that I'm going to throw these mugs on. The mugs will be, they're just basic cylinders, but they have a little mouse inside and a little mouse on the handle to go with the egg cup plates. I used to make tiny ones of these for children and uh, the lady, Zoe, who sells them, said the adults have been asking for them so I'll make them slightly bigger now so an adult can have a cup of coffee in them. Uh, which is quite nice. They're just a basic cylinder. I use my rib here because I've, for some reason I've lost my calipers, two pairs of calipers can't find them. So I just use my rib as a, as a guide. It's just basically it's just a cylinder. Keep the form as simple as possible. Like I say, these are slightly bigger than I used to make. I do make children's ones. It's important to get the clay from here up inside, so you just go underneath a little tiny bit, grab that corner, and throw it up. There you see that's the height of the pot, just right. Take the water out from inside. The sponge is about had it. It's a, a scrubbing sponge <laughs> that's left over from washing up. I don't never throw sponges away. I use this rib now. It's a really nice rib. I just undercut the corner. Move the webbing on my finger to smooth the rim. Without knocking it out of shape, I think. Mean. Right, best to correct it on the wheel. Cut it off. And that's the basic mug shape. Right, that's it. Uh, check out the website, it's on the end of the video. And uh, please come and see us. Come and have a chat with me if you can get there. 
I've talked to you virtually all these years now. Uh, I'll be there and about trying to put fires out left, right and centre as you normally do as an organiser. Uh, but I'll always spare time for people to come and have a chat. If you want 10 minutes, we'll have a cup of tea. Come and see me. Okay. And everyone else. Bye-bye.